Is it hard to ride an EUC? It's like learning how to ride a bike for the first time. Here's a step-by-step -step guide with some new tips to make it easier to learn. First, make sure you have protection, a helmet, and if possible, some pads. Not only is it safer, but you'll also learn faster if you're not afraid of getting hurt. The best place to practice is a wide area with a smooth surface. If you're afraid of damaging your EUC, you can put foam pads with a double-sided tape. So before we get started, first let's learn how an electric unicycle works. Right now it's turned off. I can move it in any direction. Now, once I turn it on, I can no longer move it forward or backward. I cannot twist it forward or backward. It's going to balance itself. Now on the other hand, it still moves freely side to side. So it's up to us to balance it side to side, kind of like a bicycle. How do we do that? For me, the easiest way to balance is to have one leg really stable on the electric unicycle. Then your other foot can push like a skateboard or a scooter. Let's learn how to do that. Step one is proper foot placement. Where do we put our feet? Do we put it forward? backward or in the middle. Look at the top of the arch of your foot. That's the middle of your center of gravity of your foot. Have that aligned with the middle of the electric unicycle's pedal. So here. So I'm going to put the top of my, the arch of my foot there. Hopefully the ball of your foot will be in the pedal. Now, if your pedal is really short or you have long feet, then adjust your foot so that the ball of your foot is within the pedal. Now, if your toes are overhanging on the pedal, that's okay. That's totally normal. So now we know how far forward to put our feet. Now, how far off to the side should we put our feet? If your foot is too far to the side, then it's going to be kind of floppy. Instead, have your foot as close to the unicycle as possible. From here, hug the unicycle with your feet as close as you can. Next, make sure that the calf of your leg is in contact with the middle of the electric unicycle here. So here. with your foot hugging the, the unicycle and your calf pressing on the unicycle, then you should feel a lot of pressure from the unicycle pushing against your calf. That's totally normal and that's what we want. There should be so much pressure there that you couldn't slide your hand in there. The fourth part of getting your foot position right is to make sure that the unicycle is below you. A common mistake is to have the unicycle too far forward. If the unicycle is too far forward, and I push down on it, there's a tendency for it to spin like that, to turn and then whip around. And the, the pedals might hit the back of your feet and it hurts a lot. So make sure that the middle of the unicycle is directly below you. So with your foot hugging the unicycle, and the unicycle pressing against your, the calf of your leg, then this leg will be stable. To test that, you should be able to tiptoe on your pushing foot. So I watch that I can tiptoe, and you shouldn't lose balance. You should even be able to lift your pushing foot. If you can do that without the unicycle wobbling, then that means that your leg is sufficiently stable and you're ready to move on to step two. Step two, let's learn about throttle control. So to move forward on an electric unicycle, press down with the ball of your foot and to move it backward, press down with the heel of your foot. So notice how it's moving backward. To practice that, 
put the, your feet in the proper position, hugging the wheel, and put your pushing foot far away from the wheel. And while you're stable like this, press down on the ball of your feet and feel the unicycle moving forward. I'm pushing down the ball of my foot and then push down the heel of your foot. Heel, ball, heel, ball. Now notice that I am not, I'm not swinging my leg at all. My thigh is not active when I'm doing this. All I'm doing is pushing on down on the ball of my foot and the heel of my foot. Ball, heel, ball, heel. That's all I'm doing. Keep practicing this for like 10 minutes or so until you feel comfortable that you can control the unicycle moving forward or backward. Step three, now we're gonna practice stationary balance. We're gonna look for support like this. We're gonna hold on to it and then put both feet on the unicycle. Now at first, you might be leaning heavily on the support. That's fine. Just get gradually used to leaning less on the support. So instead of having two, two hands on it, now you can have one hand on it. And instead of like, you know, putting so much weight on the support, you can have less and less weight on it. While you're practicing stationary support, you may also want to practice moving forward and backward slightly. So notice that my arms are totally relaxed. I can do like one finger. I would still be supported. I would still be stable. As you're balancing yourself, you can bend your legs a little bit and notice how the unicycle feels below you, like your weight is on the unicycle. Now, when you can balance yourself like this with one or two fingers in a stationary position, then you're ready for the next step. Now we know our stationary balance, let's learn how to stop. To stop, reach down on the handle and jump off with both feet at the same time. So again, reach down the handle and pop like that with both feet. When, I, when you're more comfortable, you can try to release your other hand. So reach down and pop. Do not try to stop while it's moving fast and then you try doing that instead so slow down as slow as you can reach down and then hop now when you're comfortable that you can reach down and hop then you're ready for the next step all right step five now we're going to learn how to move for this step it's easiest if you have a friend helping you who can support your arm while you're learning your balance if you don't have a friend with you that's okay we can still do this so we're gonna lean on our support. We're gonna find our balance point, just like in step three. Then we're gonna look ahead far into the horizon. Now the key here is to get speed. When you have more speed, you're more stable. So we're gonna imagine a point that's like five feet away. And we're gonna to try to get there as fast as we can. I know that sounds scary, but that's why we have all these pads. So that's my point, five feet away. I'm finding my balance. When I'm balanced, then I'm going to pull myself forward while pushing down on the pedal. So, one, two, three. This time, try, try a little bit farther. This time, maybe seven feet. So, so that find my balance point, try to get there as fast as I can. One, two, three. Whoa! Uh, let's try to go 10 feet. Okay. Find my balance point. Ready? Whoa! Hopefully you'll find that you're actually moving forward beyond your target. Like even though your target is 5 feet, you're actually going farther than that. And the goal is to stay upright as long as you can. Try to stay upright for 10 seconds. Make that your goal. If you get scared, that's okay. Hold down. Be patient with yourself. Everyone takes a different amount of time to learn. For some people, it can take as much as two weeks. Now, having said that, 
Uh, check this out. Now this guy, I taught him in 17 minutes. This guy, I taught him in five minutes. And this guy, I taught him in three minutes. You're doing it, man. <laughs> I think you got the record now. Like so if you want to learn super fast and you're able to come to LA, give me a call and I'd love to do a one-on-one -on -one with you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in 360.